Hello! Uh, so this is the second half of my video where I'm just talking through the image which I've created for more than this. Um, so this is from my sketchbook. I do a lot of uh, initial drawings, testing out ideas in terms of what I think might make a nice image um, to represent the book. So this is the moment that Seth is sat down um, by the sandbox and he's eating his spaghetti hoot and he's feeling incredibly alone after exploring his local area, feeling it's really familiar but also completely weird and wrong because everything's rusty and torn down and old and he does not get why he's there and what's happening to him. After I've scanned it in, I do an initial editing. It wipes out any of the, the kind of dirt in the background and it creates a surface which I can edit into and colour in in different ways. So this is the image which I've saved in Dropbox and it means that you can um, print it off and you can colour it in or you can do whatever you want with it uh, and make your own artwork. Or alternatively, if you're quite a creative person and you do your own work, it would be amazing if you would upload um, it, your own images into the Facebook or onto the Instagram with the hashtag bookdraw. Um, that would be really helpful because it would spread the word of the project and we get lots of images of people's um, different interpretations of stories. That would be really great. I'd love to see other people doing this better. I've seen other fan art and um, th there's, there's some amazing pictures out there. So I just hope that people do take part and join in. When I did this initially I was kind of doing block colours. I think partially because I was feeling really lazy. I ended up deciding to go in a different direction. I quite liked the, the way in which this is kind of fragmented out though. I guess it kind of just is a bit of a, a limited drawing really. So I went into a different direction. I pulled out just the, the climbing frame and coloured that in more. I tried to add in some layers of dirt into the, the slide and on the, the panelling. Made the swing look all like it's cracked and messed up. Look, you've, got, you've got vines growing over there and there's more detail on that. And everything's just a bit rusty and worn. Using this I decided to create multiple layers to create an overall image, which is this one. So here you can see still Seth sat down and he's got his spaghetti. Uh, and I've actually just isolated that, that face and used it as a single layer. So if I click here, you can see that it actually moves. And I had uh, kind of placed it in different areas, but because depending on where it goes, meant that I was hiding other, uh, uh, masking other elements, which I didn't like. That's why he's here, and I quite like the way it, um, his eye f uh, follows the, the slide, and you've got the tear here. There's nothing too intrusive and detracting from the rest of the image so I thought that was okay. Um, also behind it's got a little mushroom and that's kind of representative of the fact that throughout the book you don't know whether or not Seth is in his own world in terms of is he dreaming, is he dead, is he in purgatory, is he in the matrix, like you just you don't really know and all the way through you're trying to establish is this real life I guess. Even at, by the end of the book you still are left with an open-ended ending which I think is great because depending on how you think of what's actually happened he could quite easily have gone through a process of accepting his death or he could be alive and it, this is his reality and he's actually taken the opportunity to rectify his situation. I don't, it's, it's difficult, I don't want to create too many spoilers um, because I think it's such a brilliant book in terms of the fact you, you feel Seth's journey. That's partially what this image is also about, is that feeling of being overwhelmed and lost and that's why with the, the climbing frame I created shadows of the frame itself so that they become more menacing and more imposing on Seth uh, who is bigger than the um, like he's too big for the sandbox he's an adult now he shouldn't really be here it, his time of playing around the playground is over he should be out in the real world um, but instead he's comes back to this place he has this moment of vulnerability where he wants some security but it's taken away from him and he only has a kind of um, a memory of what that place was for him and that runs parallel in terms of with the actual story itself and I just read this little bit from uh, more than this uh, where it says all we're saying, his father says, talking loudly over them both, is that you could have come to us, you could have come to us with anything and there's another long silence 
no of them bothered to feel, as perhaps they will wonder if it was true. For me, that kind of represents the uh, family relationship in terms of Seth is looking for them to provide him more support, more sa um, safety and structure, and they're unable to give it to him for different reasons. And that's kind of reflective in the, the climbing frame part in terms of it is a, a bit of a utopia for a child where they can run around, they can play, if they scrape their, their knee their parent will come over and look after them and it's, it's all okay, it's a bit of a safe haven but here it's clearly not and he is struggling with that and he has to find his own way in the world. As an overarching element to the story I, I think that's partly what the, the book is about. Seth learning about his own true identity and making his way. So just in terms of some of the textual bits I've added in, I try to create uh, um, areas of darkness and that feeling of anxiety and depression. I've also included peeling wood, painted wood, uh, to add to the kind of panelling um, and that's been stenciled around the actual shadows. I've created these drips as well so that it it gives that kind of grim vibe and it's just layered on top of each other so there's 19 layers in total and that's created this final image and I hope it inspires other people to make their own contributions and share them so I include all the links um, below please contribute it would be a great help in, in terms of spreading the word for the project I hope you like these elements and um, please give me any feedback please carry uh, on watching these and be involved in it. Okay, uh, catch you all later. Subscribe!